Hey guys, how's it going? So these, this is the SK-10. Um, designed this about six months ago for some local law enforcement guys. And um, I've had these five ready to go for a while and I just haven't had time to finish them. Well, I finished them last week in the new shop. These are the new, these are the first knives coming out of the new shop. And I auctioned them off, the top two, and then put the other three up for sale on Instagram. So these are all sold and gone. Uh, if you're interested in getting one, um, shoot me an email, let me know. Uh, I will be making more later on down the road, but I've got some orders that with the move and everything, I'm seriously behind. So I've got about, I've got literally 30 knives on my, on my, the other side of my workbench here that are all past due, way past due. So um, I'm going to be getting caught up as best I can on those. But so, but if you want one, let me know. Uh, at any rate, so these are at SK-10. Uh, they were kind of designed as a defensive, uh, defensive weapon, you know, um, with the finger hook, kind of a poke and jab, you know, like get the hell off me type of deal. But, you know, most people, at least I hope, I hope nobody seeing this has ever got to stab anybody. So, you know, they'll be used for whatever, just normal everyday EDC use, which is fine. Um, but at any rate, so they are 3V. This one here is the only just plain stone washed. It was acid dipped and then stone washed. The other ones have been Cerakoted. This is Cerakote Bronze, which this one's actually my favorite one. Let's just hope I don't drop them. So it's Cerakoted Burnt Bronze. Got my logo on there. It's got a small swedge on there, practicing with swedges. Figured this was a good model to, to try it out. All the corners and edges are rounded though. Uh, there's no, there's two holes here that if you want to wrap it, you can wrap it. Uh, but I didn't put any handles or grips or anything on there, kind of for a reason. This is kind of designed to go right in between your, uh, right in here, right in the crease of your hand. So when you close your hand, you can still make uh, an effective fist. There's no, you're not holding on to some big grip. Uh, it's meant to just, um, you know, melt away in your hand, really. And it locks onto your, your index finger like this, if you want to use it that way. There's also at this end here, this is a pressure point nub. So if you had to grapple with somebody, you know, there's a pressure point couple of holes in there just for aesthetics that's the burnt bronze and this one's just just black my original design was to have just a, a black with a shiny blade and then in a kydex sheath which I haven't I haven't made any kydex sheaths yet um, that's something that I need to practice on my um, yeah downtime whatever <laughs> I need I need to get better at making kydex sheaths there's lots of guys that'll make great kydex sheaths for these so I would definitely get a hold of one of them if you're buying one of these for now. <clears throat> so the black is kind of so that when it's in in, it, in its sheath and it's on your side, it's hard to it's hard to see. You know, it doesn't stick out. Um, but when you need to pull it out, uh, you can obviously get somebody's attention because the the blade grind. Then the these other two, this one here was a, a zombie version inspired. And the surface texture on these, uh, I left it kind of the the um, stock. I don't know what you want to call it. It's got the scaling and stuff on it. So this, they haven't been surface ground down the, the edges. And I kind of did that on purpose just to give it some character and some uh, texture so that it wasn't just smooth the whole way around. But so this is uh, zombie green, ceramic, Cerakote with black, distressed, battle-worn. And then I auctioned it off with a matching uh, smock key, titanium. And then this one here is kind of, uh, <clears throat> if you've seen the movie The Martian, it's kind of the Martian-inspired version with the, uh, the gray, the white, and the orange distressed. So, turned out really cool. I really like this one. This one went for the most, this group. And also come with a matching smock key. And then also, uh, it hasn't sold yet, but it's up on Instagram. And if any of you guys are watching this and you and you want this, this is a zombie green smock key, uh, 55 bucks. It's for sale. It's the last one. 
That's all I got left. Um, I don't think I will be making any more of these anytime soon. I have another design. I've designed five or six different multi-tool type deals, and I just want to go down the list and make the next one. So um, I may never get back to this design again, so it may just be discontinued like the uh, the skull keys and, and the brew keys, they're all gone. Uh, so this is the last one. 55 bucks, let me know, shoot me an email, and I'll get it shipped out to you. All right, but the SK-10s, um, and the reason for the 10, again, these were kind of uh, military or, or police, local law enforcement inspired knives. And uh, I wanted to, th the idea was it, it was the your backup, you know. Um, somebody's going for your gun, and you need... You need uh, something for your left hand that that won't that you can't get knocked out. That is a defensive weapon. So uh, I asked a lot of I asked questions on um, Instagram. What's what's the officer needs assistance ten code? And I got you know nine 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 ten something. I, I got a whole you know it's different all over the country. So I didn't want to. Um, use something that was only specific to a certain area. So I just called it the SK-10, meaning it's the 10 code like police officers use for assistance. Um, it's, I know that doesn't, I know, I know a lot of a lot of places just say they just get on a radio and an officer needs help. So it doesn't apply to everybody, but um, it was the inspiration behind the knife. I have uh, several um, law enforcement that are, that are good friends. So um, wanted to make something like this for them because they wanted a, a fixed blade knife but at any rate guys um that's it the sk10 uh they turned out great the cerakote is freaking awesome on them and um that's pretty much it now i'm going to be doing um back on mods and <clears throat> it, i don't do videos and post every job that i do i try to only post things that are new so if you don't see anything for a couple days it's not that i'm just sitting around playing video games i'm i'm working and getting your orders out and shipping them to customers that are in line um, so don't fret uh, I will be doing a small batch of um, hearts Timascus and uh, Dama Steel hearts for um, Valentine's Day uh, that's going to be kind of a tradition as I do a batch before Christmas and before Valentine's Day I think that's going to be a yearly thing so I've got a small handful of of those that I'm going to do before the end of the month, um, probably actually later this week. I'm just going to take one, you know, just take one day and I'm going to get some hearts done. And, um, so if you guys want any of those, you can either hit me up <clears throat> via email. If you really want one, if you're not on Instagram or check out Instagram, um, I've already posted a bunch before they're in past images that you can see the work that I've done, or you can wait and they'll come up. And when they come up, they will be, you know, First person to say I take it gets them, and the last time I did it, they went in like literally seconds. So you gotta be, you gotta be on the ball. <laughs> all right, all right. Talk to you guys later. Thanks.